Welcome back everybody to the Holter Museum. You are looking up at the ceiling of the new W room here uh, at the Holter Museum. And, and we've got a little party going on where we are kicking off uh, the opening of this room, this addition to the Holter Museum. Back over to my buddy, uh, Chris Ricardo, the executive director. So we got a live auction going on here and uh, the people that are watching at home clearly are not here in the building, but sure. they can participate. Absolutely, if they go to holtermuseum.org, you can sign up um, and bid on these items until eight o'clock tonight. There's also a silent auction going on as well until the 17th, so please um, join us tonight. Yeah, and it's more than just these items. I mean, we've got them all over the room, so there's a bunch of them on the, on the website, and uh, it is the Ho Ho Holter party here. Uh, Christmas, the holidays coming up. Yep. Uh, this is a great place to visit. It's amazing. Please come down and see this new Creativity Center. It's for you. It's for the community. So please come visit. Well, thank you for doing this for the community and uh, for having me here. Let's talk weather, shall we? A little art, uh, so to speak. Let's take a look at the current uh, temperatures out there. It's chilly. Uh, it was cold all day today. We had uh, temperatures in the 20s and the 30s right now. Even some teens uh, uh, were dropping into the wind. You may have thought it was bad today, it was a little breezy. Well, it's going to get worse, especially along the Rocky Mountain front and out uh, through the central part of the state. Warnings, yeah, we've got them. Watches and warnings, let's go ahead and take a look at those. The Rocky Mountain front could have 95, maybe even 100 mile per hour winds. Boy, it's been a brutal year as far as wind goes. Uh, Great Falls through Judith Basin County. The central part of the state is under a high wind watch. Some gusts maybe up to 65 miles per hour. Today was pretty quiet, radar wise, meaning snow. We had a few flakes around Helena, but a lot of the central and eastern part of the state, it was very clean and clear. What will happen? A future track will take a look into the future, into the weekend. A couple of snow showers tonight over the western mountains, and it's just this little wave that may produce a few snow showers uh, into the Helena area tomorrow morning. Otherwise, tomorrow, Friday, very much like Thursday, except we're closer to the weekend. Uh, we'll have a few snow showers in the western mountains, but central and eastern Montana will be clear. Saturday, that's when we'll start to see some cloud cover increase and the wind really, really increase. Snow forecast, uh, winter storm watch west of the Continental Divide, northwest Montana, could be pretty nasty, Sealy Swan, but uh, look at all that snow in the western mountains as we go through the weekend. Here's the forecast for tonight. Uh, we're talking about uh, some chilly temperatures, single digits and teens out the high line. Most uh, other locations teens and 20s. For tomorrow, 100% chance that it's Friday. We'll have uh, some sunshine, central and eastern Montana, some snow showers in the western parts of the state. Saturday, that's the real windy day where uh, we will have some gusts, maybe 50, 60, 70 miles an hour uh, for parts of the state. Sunday, the wind will slowly ease up. It'll be a little better, slightly cooler. And uh, looking at the seven day forecast for Helena. Uh, so tomorrow, a couple of snow showers in the morning. Let's uh, quickly look at Great Falls. Very windy in Great Falls on Saturday and across the states. And we will have some snow next week.